Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the week of August 29th to September 4th. Welcome. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you finding me and me finding you, right? Um, I hope this resonates with you. Keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Um, if you are returning, I really appreciate your energy. I really appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate your comments below. I appreciate all of that. And I hope that um, this re reading resonates with you. If, you. if it doesn't and you like a little bit further, you can go... Um, below in the description is astro.com and it will tell you how to find your moon and rising signs. If you already know, you can check out those readings. And um, if you'd like to know the decks I use, the cards and all that, you can. Uh, that Those are listed below as well, Sagittarius. So, okay, these don't have reversals according to the author of the deck. And... If you like a personal private reading with me, if you have some, um, you know, need more guidance or need more clarity, then by all means, um, my website's below, so help yourself. Your unconscious or subconscious energy for the month is a two of air, so it could be a decision that needs to be made, Sagittarius, that you are hesitant on, that you are trying to put off. Um, you've got, you kind of have your back turned, so you don't, you know, want to face it, maybe. You don't want to see it. You kind of want to live in your own little realm right now, your own little thoughts. But there's a decision that needs to be made, or there's a, um, an obstacle that, that needs to be crossed. All right, we have the beautiful Queen of Water, the Seven of Water, and the King of Earth. So we have two water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, and then we have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy with the earth sign. So we have the queen of water is owning your own um, emotions, uh, being in charge of your emotions, being able to handle your own emotions, not being over emotional, um, kind of going within, trusting your gut instinct, trusting your um Trusting your inner guidance, your intuition. It looks like she's in meditation. Right? Going within, trusting that intuition, trusting that inner um that nudge, that inner nudge. There's decisions to be made. Seven is a card of decisions. That could be emotional decisions. There could be some confusion. Again, something you need to make that you need to think about. This needs to be a, um, a decision about your, what, it needs to be a head decision, not a heart decision. It doesn't need to be an emotional decision. You see she's in this flower and there's all the fish and shells around her that she's got to decide on. And look at her face. She's like, oh, what do I do? So it's kind of that uh, feeling. You're in charge of your emotions. You're going into this with a queen mentality. You're going into this with... Um, Maybe you thought it would be easier to make this decision than it is. It's going to lead to abundance. There's king of earth. It's going to lead to some stability with money. It's going to ground you when you make this decision. You know, you have the king and the queen, so you have that beautiful balance of the decisions in the middle, the choices. There could be confusion on your thoughts. Having that emotional security 
It's like you're protecting yourself from what choices you're going to make. You're protecting yourself from what... Um, hmm. There could be decisions that come through and it might not be you that have to make them. It could be somebody else. The king of earth can be, you know... It could be somebody older. It could be a guide. It could be a mentor. It could be a boss. They're very grounded. They're very financially stable. They're very good with money. They could be your accountant. But again, I think you, you know, you might have too much emotion in this and you need to approach this from a place of your thoughts. You need to think this through. roots wow not only does it look like your heart but it's like the tree of life right king is all about the roots the earth signs taurus virgo capricorn putting down the roots letting them run deep having family could be finances money material things being grounded They complement each other. Water and earth go very well together. Too much water. We know what can happen though. So there's so much emotion here on the earth card. So there could be too much emotion. Keeping your emotions in check. Let's see what the roots card is. If I can find it. Well. I'm going to pause you while I go look. Okay, it talks about our roots are made up of many things. Our ancestors, the people in our immediate and chosen families, the places we come from. Roots can direct us not just who or where, but also how and why things are the way they are. Underneath the skin and soil, the heart sees truly. Consider what, where do you come from, what are your roots, and what do you wish to take root and grow? In order for you not only to grow, but to flourish, connect with your foundation. Pay homage to your ancestors. Consider your immediate family connections and review the folklore that has influenced you since you were a child. Are you honoring your past? Not only the successes, but also the failures that made you who you are today. We tend to learn more from the times that we have failed than the times that went smoothly. There is no need to cut those parts out of the memory or identity. Don't be fooled by what's on the surface. Pay attention to your intuition and look deeper to uncover the truth. Pay attention to your intuition and look deeper to uncover the truth. And again, don't make this decision out of fear. Don't make this decision out of, well, remember last time this happened. Because all our life experiences, good and bad, are learning experiences. Uh, I call this Earth School. We're here to learn. And if we can come out of a situation and have learned a lesson from it, then it's, it's never in vain. There's always a good reason for it. Everything we do, everything we go through, forms who we are today. So when you make this decision, or a decision, that you have to, 
Don't do it out of emotional fear. Do it out of wisdom and thought. It'll be grounded. Ask your ancestors for help. If it's a tough decision you have to make. Again, you're emotionally stable. So don't let... <sighs> it's kind of like if you look up something on social media and you shouldn't have. Don't let that influence your decision. Be intuitive on it. Be grounded on it. Know your roots run deep. Right? Alright, Sagittarius, I would love to know how this resonates with you. What your what your choices are, what's your decision? And know whatever it is, if it's moving or going somewhere. Family always goes with you. We hold them in our in our hearts, always. They're always there. All the people that are with us now are with us. All the people that have passed. We gain our new our nutrients from. Talk to them. Bringing balance to the situation. Sagittarius, have a beautiful, blessed week. Please let me know how this resonates. And... Take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you next time. Good luck. Bye for now.